Well, hello. Today is a very exciting day. It is Ash Wednesday, the start of Lent. And what that means, it's also time for all of the wonderful and magnificent pop-up fish fries that happen here in Buffalo, whether it's a fire hall, a school, a church, a community group, you name it. So many amazing fish fries are going to pop up over the next six weeks of Lent. And once again, I am on the scene to find the best local fish fry at these types of locations. So join me today at the start of our 2021 Lenten fish fry series as I head out to check out one of my favorites, Sheridan Park Fire Company. Most of these are going to be done in my car, I'm thinking, but today, since this one's not too far away from where I live, we're going to drive it home, eat it at home, and go from there. We might remember what I said last year, takeout orders don't usually go as well with fish fries. They get cold. They just don't taste the same, but I'm going to take that into account as I am evaluating these this year. But today's will be at home, but don't be surprised if the rest are right here in my car. You can look at the menu now. Dinners are served from 4 to 7 every Friday during Lent. In addition to the beer battered fish fry, which I ordered, they also have a breaded fish fry, a baked fish fry, a shrimp basket, and a chicken finger basket. All include sides such as french fries, coleslaw, potato salad, and a roll. It's $12 cash or card. This year it's only takeout or pickup, so you can call ahead if you'd like, or you can wait in one of their designated parking spots in their lot. They'll bring the food out to you, and away you go. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you. You too. Okay, so here's what we have. We have our roll. Move that out of the way. We have our big piece of beer battered fish. I'll also move that out of the way. A nice healthy portion of french fries. Some tartar sauce. Some coleslaw. Some potato salad. Some lemon juice ketchup vinegar so looking pretty good it is takeout and I'll explain some of my thoughts about that here in a second okay so some of my first impressions right off the bat is I already missed the in fire hall dining experience what sets Sheridan Park Fire Department apart from many of the other fish fries I've been to is the whole way it's served there it's in their massive fire hall lounge all sorts of lawn tables and they serve it on really nice plates and you get a really good amount of food. I've transferred everything from the container to a plate. Let me show you how much of the sides you actually received here in the takeout version. When I'm talking about the sides, I'm talking about the coleslaw and the potato salad. Let me show you that real quick. So there is the potato salad here, and there is the coleslaw there. You have about a spoonful all together, maybe a spoonful and a half. And that's really disappointing because when you eat in the restaurant there, I call it a restaurant, but it's a fire hall. When you eat in person, you have these nice china plates they put everything on and it's just filled. And you have a whole host of these sides. The french fries are the right amount. You get a whole plate full of french fries and the fish still looks good. But I'm very disappointed that the sides are so small. I understand there's only so much you can do with little to-go uh, to containers such as these. But at $12, I would have expected more sides for sure. One of the other things that really made Sheridan Park stand out is they have a whole host of homemade desserts. So afterwards you go up, you get coffee, tea, and your choice of all these amazing desserts, cookies and cakes and pastries, whatever it might be. There's no dessert included here. Same price as before, $12. Then it might have even gone up a dollar or so from years past, but $12, no dessert. I understand it's difficult in this, in this uh, era, so I'm not knocking them for that. Those are the things that were missing that you would get in the in-person dining. So I have a feeling that this was going to get stored a little bit lower than I would have done if this was in person, just for those reasons alone. Now, aside from all that, all that really matters is how does it taste? Let's go ahead and taste it. Okay, so there's our fish, flaky. Usually really good, I smell that beer battered on it, okay? We'll go ahead and give this a taste. 
This fish looks the same as I'm used to, so that's a plus. Again, it's all about what it tastes like, and I know it's going to be different this year because it's not in person, but I'm very happy to have it. So if it sounds like I'm being a little negative, I'm not. I'm just pointing out what's different between when they do it in person, which is amazing, versus how they have to translate it and the concessions they have to make for takeout. Let's go ahead and First taste bite, it. bite, no tartar sauce. And the fish is excellent. It's still hot. It has that nice crunch you might have been able to hear from the breading. The fish is warm and flaky on the inside, very flavorful. Let's go ahead and try this craft tartar sauce. Now what's also cool is when you're there, they'd have the table set up. It'd be like family style, you'd be sitting with other people and they would have little containers there of tartar sauce and lemon juice and all that stuff. So I appreciate them replicating that as best as possible here, but it was kind of fun to have the big sort of squeeze bottle and put as much on as you need. But let's go ahead and taste this craft tartar sauce. I'm not sure if I like this version of it or not. It smells pretty good. Certain tartar sauces I like more than others. Let's go ahead and see how that is. If it adds anything to the fish. Yeah, that tartar sauce is good. Now we're gonna go ahead and add in our lemon juice onto the fish as well too. They always have a little container there as well of lemon juice that you squirt on your fish. So I'll add that as well. So, so far, my little sort of quibbles aside about the sides of the sides, that's a weird way to say that, but the, uh, the proportions, if you will, the portion sizes here, the fish is outstanding and excellent. This is gonna be one of the most difficult fish rice to beat in terms of the fish itself. It's just really, really outstanding. Let's go ahead now and try the potato salad. There's potato salad. It's excellent, it's creamy. It still has, it's still, you know, uh, cold, hasn't gotten to room temperature yet, which you wouldn't want it to do with, with the mayo base in there. That was one uh, uh, forkful. We have about enough for one extra forkful there, which is really good. The potato salad is excellent. I would have liked more of it. Maybe, you know, they'll get bigger containers as they go. Maybe they'll get some feedback from some people later on as as they hear about how it went. But, you know, that's really the only disappointment so far is that their sides are good, especially their potato salad. I just would have liked more of it. Well, let's go ahead and try the coleslaw now. So there's our coleslaw. I mean, it's tangy, crunchy. Creamy, but not overly creamy. That way all you're not tasting is just like, you know, mayonnaise or something like that. There's a good vinegar flavor to it. Excellent. Same sort of criticism we're going to have about the potato salad. I just wish there was more of it. So we're going to be very excited when they're able to do these in person again. Because they have really one of the top all around fish fries. The food, the presentation, it's always packed. The line is always out the door. You always have to wait. They have all the people from the fire hall working there to get it all set up. So I'm just going to miss that right now, which is okay. Now for the french fry, pretty much my least favorite part of any fish fry is the french fry. So I can take them or leave them. Let's go ahead and try theirs. They're usually good. They're french fries. They're, no, nothing fancy. They're good. So they're not bad. They're still warm. They're crispy. They're, they're tasty. So, all right. I'm going to go ahead and finish up the rest of this meal and then come back later on and let you know what my thoughts are overall. So we're off and running. It's Lent. It's fish fry time. Enjoy dinner. And the plate is clean. No more food. No fries. No fish. No coleslaw. No potato salad. And no roll. And it was delicious. Alright, so having finished the dinner, what did I think about it? It actually traveled well. The fish was still hot. The fries were crispy and warm. They weren't cold. All of the cold salads had not warmed to room temperature yet, so they weren't uh, runny or a little bit mushy. They were perfect. I was actually, believe it or not, the very first person to get the fish fry this year. I showed up a couple minutes before four. I called in for a four o'clock pickup. I was the first car in the parking lot, the first person to receive a dinner, and probably the first person to eat their dinner. So I'm excited. So I could have had the best or the worst, depending on thirsts, but I would say I had one of the best. Here's the thing about Sheridan Park. There, fish fry is really out of this world. If it's not the best one in Buffalo, it's one of the top two or three in all of Buffalo. Personally, it probably is my favorite locally, but that doesn't mean that there are other fish fries that aren't uh, good or even close to this one. I just think the whole total package here makes this a really perfect fish fry. You saw the size of the fish. 
it's meaty on the inside. It's not, you know, just a couple scales here, a couple uh, flakes here and there, and then it's just a bunch of breading. It's all the way through. You are full, mostly when you finish that fish. Then you saw the heaping mound of french fries they gave you. And again, if this was a normal year, you would have saw the plate completely filled with coleslaw and potato salad. That fish would have been sticking off the entire end of the plate. No room to put everything. You're trying to maneuver stuff around all over the place. And then you add in dessert afterwards. You go up to the table afterwards. They have coffee, tea, and desserts to choose from, all included. You have pictures of pop you can get to drink with your dinner as well, too. It really is a community event. It's wonderfully well done. It's something I look forward to every year. So I'm super happy that they were able to at least modify it for takeout. Now here are some of my thoughts for the takeout part. If they're going to do takeout, I would encourage them to include silverware and napkins also with their dinner. So I got home, I realized there was no fork, no knife, no napkin, which is perfectly fine if I was going to be coming home. But if I was eating this in my car in the parking lot, I didn't want to get cold or something like that. No silver was provided. So something to think about going forward. I don't know how that would increase the cost or not. But again, takeouts to go should have forks, knives, and napkins too. The sides, the, the proportion sides here of the sides. Uh, it just isn't enough. I understand that it can be difficult. I can understand that it can be hard to replicate that, but uh, whether that's just doubling up in the containers or getting a different size container, uh, that really pulls it down a little bit here versus what you get in the restaurant experience, also known as their fire hall. Unless we're calling it restaurant, it's fun, okay? that's it I have no other complaints about this one at all and those are very minor complaints and, and really some of them are just sort of personal preference by the time you finish your fish you may not really have a whole lot of room for your size anyway but if you want sort of like a, a little bit more of the complete uh, dinner experience you want a little bit more of those size that really what complements it how would I rate them listen they're gonna be hard to top so all those things considered I think in the restaurant in the restaurant I would give them a 10 in the fire hall a 10 out of 10 with the desserts the, the drinks that you have available to you, the size of the size of the dinner itself. However, I'm gonna take a couple points off here, percentage points off for the takeout, so it's not the exact same, but I'm still gonna give them a 9.8 out of 10. This score is gonna be really hard to beat and it's the very first day, 9.8. I don't think I'm gonna find a better piece of fish anywhere. I don't think I'm going to find a better sort of uh, a concoction of things here all together. Of course, if they always have macaroni salad, which makes it better, but the whole package here, and it traveled well, and it just has this perfect flavor. This is the quintessential buffalo fish fry, except maybe some rye bread. So a place that has rye bread, maybe we'll give it a run, and of course, places that have macaroni salad. But overall, 9.8 for the takedown experience. So if you go to Sheridan Park this year, which I highly recommend, everyone should go to Sheridan Park this year, definitely go and pick up a takeout dinner. But if you go this year, all I ask you go back next year if they're doing in-person dining again and experience the in-person dining experience and see what I'm talking about in terms of just how it's perfect now, but even like doubly perfect inside their fire hall. So Sheridan Park, well done. You knocked it out of the park again. Super happy to have it this year. Thank you for doing the fish fry even as a takeout. Thank you for attempting to modify it as best as possible for us. We appreciate it. And I look forward to many more years to come at your fine, fine, fine fish fry here in Buffalo. So in review, Sheridan Park Fire Company's fish fry, the pros, a huge piece of fish. You saw how big it was, how it was going off the plate. Really, really well done. The food temperature was perfect. Even for takeout, it traveled well. The fish was still hot. The cold sides were still cold. Everything just really maintained its temperature. The fish was very meaty. You saw how packed it was on the inside. It wasn't just a small little piece of fish. And the flavor of everything was perfect. On the negative side, the sides were small, especially considering what you get inside the fire hall when they had the dine-in option. No dessert like you would get when you're inside during the dine-in. It's not a huge negative, but it is something that's missing and what I think makes that dinner unique amongst all of the other ones in the area. For takeout meals, you really should probably include forks, knives, and napkins, things like that. So I'd like to see them add that. But overall, 9.8, could be really hard to beat. So that's gonna do it for me today. Fish Fry Series is well off and running. Sheridan Parts had a pretty high bar here, 9.8 out of 10. Can anyone top it? We'll find out. Make sure you stick around. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any of these Fish Fry Adventures. If you liked this video, give me a big thumbs up. I'd really appreciate knowing that. And I'll see you next time out on the Fish Fry Trail. See you later.